another edition of Gallery's Choice Stained Glass Studio. Um, so what we have today is we are continuing our journey for the six panel lamp project. And what we need to do now is at this point you have completed all of the panels that match your vase cap. And of course today we are working on the six panel lamp project. It could be any panel lamp really, but we have six. And our goal today is to get you to get these flat panels, which you've accomplished, from flat on the desktop to up in a cone configuration that can be used as a lampshade. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to lay out our pieces. And our pieces, if you have an A-B pattern like I do, I have a smooth pattern and then a more textured pattern, or maybe an A-B-C pattern, and you've got two sets of those, however that lays out, you want to lay these out on your desktop, face up, and I'm using a an upside down ceiling tile for my work surface, and I love this setup. Uh, this is absorbent, so I can solder on it, I can spill chemistry on it, it absorbs right in, um, I don't have to worry about it. Um, uh, it's non-flammable, so I can solder on this board and I can push pins in it, which also helps me stabilize. So that's why I use an upside down ceiling tile. They're also very inexpensive to use and to get, easy to get. As I lay my pieces out, I'm leaving about oh, a scant eighth, maybe a sixteenth plus in between the pieces just to give it a little breathing room. And then I'm going to use something that my students have come to recognize as one of my favorite tools in the workshop, and that is a roll of blue tape. It's just blue painter's tape. There's nothing really um, remarkable about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape the bejesus out of this, um, making crisscrosses and so creating a non-permanent hinge. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to spend a lot of time doing this, so I might break in the middle and I won't bore you with how long this takes. The key to getting this to work is to clean the surface of the glass really, really well. And I use uh, rubbing alcohol to do that, and I let it dry. And that's just to make sure there's no slime no grease, no wax, no chemistry still left on the glass. Otherwise the blue tape isn't, it's not really all that tacky. It's, it's not really going to hold. And we want it to hold for like about two minutes until we can get the first tack solder dots on it and stabilize the piece. As you see, I'm going in a crisscross. I am using the tape liberally and I'm going to go across each and every piece all the way around. 